When planning an intended voyage, one of the most important tasks is selecting the correct nautical charts. Using the free software Admiralty Digital Chart Catalog, or ADC, we can identify both electronic navigational chart and paper chart coverage required for the entire passage. In this video, I will explain how to use ADC to select the appropriate charts for an intended voyage. In the final part of this video, I will also show you how to download and install ADC for practical use. This is the interface of the Admiralty Digital Chart Catalog. ADC is a digital catalog that enables us to determine the appropriate Admiralty charts and nautical publications required for an intended voyage. Although this software is free and weekly updates are available, access to the selected charts and nautical publications requires a valid subscription. Before we proceed to the main purpose of this video, which is selecting the appropriate charts for the intended voyage, let us first update the software. Go to the upper left corner and left-click on File. Then go to Catalog. Here we have two options for updating ADC, Online Update or Load Downloaded Updates. In this demonstration, I will select Online Update. In the first column, we can see a list of Admiralty nautical publications, with their current status shown as outdated. Here, we can also see that the last update was on 31st of October and 11th of November 2025, while the latest available updates are dated 12th of December and mostly 23rd of December 2025. If these boxes are unchecked, make sure to tick them to load the updates. Then, at the bottom, click Start Update. The updates are now downloading. For larger files, such as Admiralty Vector Charts, the download may take some time, depending on the internet connection. The update is now complete. To select the appropriate charts for the intended voyage, Begin by choosing the chart type. Below, we can choose different publications to be ordered. For electronic charts, select AVCS, which stands for Admiralty Vector Chart Services. If you are using Admiralty Paper Charts, select Paper Charts. In this demonstration, I will use Admiralty Vector Charts. The chart selection procedure is the same for both ENC and Paper Charts. On the left side, under ENC Units, you will find checkboxes for the different chart usage bands, including Berthing, Harbor, Approach, Coastal, General, and Overview. Ensure that all relevant checkboxes are selected. Next, go to Route at the top. If an existing route has been created in the Ectus, it can be imported here by selecting Load Route and choosing the appropriate file. Alternatively, an initial route can be created directly within the digital catalog by selecting Create Route. Once we select Create Route, bring the cursor to the departure point, then left-click, drag the mouse to the next waypoint, and left-click again. Do this until the final destination is reached. To end the route, right-click the mouse. For zooming and chart movement, Use the plus and minus icons to zoom in and out, or use the mouse to pan and view specific areas. We can also use these arrows to scroll the chart. However, creating a route directly in the digital catalog is generally not recommended. It is preferable to create the initial route in the Ectus, and then import it into the digital catalog. Even if ENC coverage is not yet available in the Ectus for the intended voyage, an initial route can still be more effectively created there than in the digital catalog. Remember that this route represents only an initial route and not a detailed passage plan. When creating an initial route in the Ectus, publications such as Ocean Passages for the World, Ships Routing, Guide to Port Entry, and other relevant Admiralty publications may be used as a guide. Now let's remove this route. 
Go to Route, select Clear Route, then click Yes. The created route is now removed. Next, let's import the route I created in my previous video. These waypoints from Cologne, Panama to Port Said, Egypt, were taken from Nautical Publication 136, Ocean Passages for the World. If you would like to learn how these waypoints were determined using Ocean Passages for the World, please refer to my previous video. The link is provided in the description below. I entered these waypoints into an ECTUS application called OpenCPN, and the route appears to look like this. Now let's export this route. Go to Route and Mark Manager. This dialog box will appear, showing the saved route. This is the displayed route. Highlight this, then below click Export. I will save this on my desktop and name it Panama to Egypt. Remember this file name. Here we can see that the exported route will be saved in GPX format. Let's save it. The route has now been saved to the desktop. Let's return to the Admiralty Digital Catalog and try to import the saved route. Go to Route above, then select Load Route. Since the file was saved on the desktop, open that location. As we observe, the exported route does not appear in the list. This is because ADC only accepts the following file formats for route import, and GPX files are not supported. Therefore, a file converter is required. I have already made a video on how to install and use this file converter. You can find the link in the description below. To convert the route using a file converter, go to the upper left corner and click File, then select Open. Navigate to Desktop and locate the save file in GPX format. This is the file. Select and click Open. Next, select Route, then left-click Load Selected. To convert this, go to File and select Save As. A dialog box will appear, allowing us to choose a destination path. I will save it on the desktop. Enter file name here. Let's save it with this file name. Click this Format Selection box. Scroll down and choose Admiralty Digital Catalog in TXT format, then click Save. The route file has now been converted and saved to the desktop. Let's return to the Admiralty Chart Catalog and import the converted route which is now in TXT format. Go to Route and select Load Route. Navigate to the desktop where the converted file was saved. Locate the file. Here it is in TXT format. Select it and click Open. As we can see, the route has been successfully imported. Let's take a look at Port Cologne. The Cologne container port is located here. If we need to edit the imported route, go to Root at the top, select Edit Route. Point the cursor on the waypoint where we start the editing, then double-click, drag it to Port Cologne, and left-click to place it. To finish editing, right-click the mouse. Next, let's move to Port Said. Here is Port Said. Let's edit the route in the same way as we did for Port Cologne. Once the route editing is finished, save the changes. Point the cursor at the route until it changes to a plus sign. Then right-click and select Apply Changes. Next, go to the top and click this basket icon, Route to Basket. As we can see, all ENCs along the route are highlighted in red. These are the charts required for the entire voyage. To view the complete list of the charts, click this basket icon. This is the list of ENCs needed for the intended voyage. 
If no chart inventory is available, as shown here, where the inventory is zero, then we can immediately save this list of ENCs to our disk and send it to the service provider or email it to the company to obtain the necessary permits. But what if we already have an existing chart inventory? Left-click on Show Inventory. The dialog box expands, but in this case it is empty because no inventory has been loaded yet. There are two ways to load or import existing charts or other publications into the inventory. By clicking this folder icon, we can import ENC permits that were previously requested. Alternatively, by selecting this folder icon, we can still import a list of charts that are still within the subscription period. I already have a list of ENCs, so let's import it into the inventory. Select this folder icon, navigate to the file location, the file name is chart list. Here it is, in a TXT format. Make sure that the charts being imported are not outdated. Select the file and click Open. As shown, 49 ENC units have now been imported into the inventory. Save this list of products. If we go to Inventory, the imported charts are highlighted and most of it are located in the Mediterranean Sea. These charts are already available, so there's no need to order it again. We therefore need to remove it from the basket. To do this, click this question mark icon. This will select all the products in the basket that already exist in the inventory. At this point, we have 72 ENC units in the basket and 49 in the inventory. Now click this X icon to remove all the selected products from the basket. As we can see, only 23 ENCs now remain to be ordered instead of 72. Finally, click this icon to save the list of charts in the basket. I will save it on the desktop and name the file ENCs to order in TXT format. Click Save. Let's open the save file. This file can now be sent to the service provider or emailed to the company to obtain the required permits. To download ADC, open your web browser and search for Admiralty Digital Chart Catalog. Download the software from the official Admiralty website. Scroll down the page and select ADC Full to begin the download. Once the download is complete, the file will be in zip format. Extract the contents, locate the application file, run it, and follow the on-screen installation instructions. That's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.